everybody, Mark again here, Weather Man Plus. Good morning to you. Happy Wednesday to everybody. I'm going to give you the latest update on what's going on with the tropics, what you can expect in the next few days, as well as what could happen long range. Now, what we are seeing is that we have this trough that is coming down. It's already down and moving into the Caribbean, but soon it will be moving north. Now, this trough will bring this precipitation to the north side of the Eastern Caribbean. Then it's going to change. Then we're going to have this big high pressure that's going to be moving in. It's going to be expanding in from the Eastern Pacific. And this is going to guide this system right to the west of the Caribbean. The more it expands, the further south this storm will go. Then this high pressure will be retracting back either to the west or to the east. That's where the information is a little bit different. If it goes back to the west, it will go towards the Yucatan, maybe Belize, Honduras. If it goes to the east, it could swing around and go into the Gulf. Now, that's the latest information according to Euro. Let me show you everything I have. All I ask, if you know somebody in these impacts, please share this to a friend. Hit the like button if this information helps you in any way. That way, everybody knows what to expect, what everything is coming, and there's no surprises. I'm still showing our hurricane season is going to go into December this year. So as of this morning, we have all these thunderstorms going by Puerto Rico. It is giving them some power outages. Also for the British and Virgin Islands, a little bit of the Leeward Islands. Now, as this trough keeps moving in and keeps bringing all this precipitation training towards Puerto Rico, British and Virgin Islands, definitely for today, it will hit a little bit of the Leeward Islands as our tropical wave starts making its way towards the Windward Islands, ABC Islands, also Eastern Venezuela, and it could affect also Colombia and go towards Central America. So by Friday, definitely have some storms that will be brewing up for the Windward Islands, also the ABC Islands and Venezuela. As this trough heads a little more north, then the system goes a little more north. So the next five days, as far as your rainfall totals, remember wind gusts, all this is all zoomable. All these links in the description for you. Make sure you go below the title, go in the description and click on these links. According to the Euro, it is going to be a lot of heavy rainfall and going back towards Puerto Rico. GFS shows a little bit more eastern and the icon so shows this as well. It's being picked up by all of these weather models. So anywhere from Trinidad or Tobago, you do have heavy rainfall coming within the next five days, even possibly the British and Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico getting more rainfall. Euro sees this as well. Euro brings up a little bit more of rainfall for Puerto Rico and a little bit closer towards Venezuela going towards Colombia with all this heavy rainfall. GFS shows it's a little bit more eastern and it really will affect the Virgin Islands. So please be aware there's a lot of precipitation coming towards Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, Puerto Rico, and the British and Virgin Islands within the next five days. And as far as wind gusts, it's looking somewhere as around the highest would be a 30 miles per hour wind gust. That's Euro, GFS, Icon. Everybody is showing the most would be the Euro is showing maybe a chance for 30 miles per hour wind gusts. Anywhere's on any of these windward islands, remember this link is in the description so you can go click on your area and see exactly what is expected for you. There's a lot of people that lives out on these islands. So as of this morning, Puerto Rico is almost at 20,000 without power and it is moving up. It has grown to 33,000, just waiting a little bit longer and refreshing the page. So all these storms training is creating a lot of power outages and there's more storms coming for today. I have all this information as well, the tropical waves, everything from National Hurricane Center, so you can go read everything. And you can see here from National Hurricane Center, a deep layered trough across the Central Caribbean will gradually lift northward through the remainder of the week. A tropical wave along 64W will move westward and become absorbed within the trough along 68W, the one that's in the Atlantic, Wednesday night through Thursday. Now this interaction will induce numerous thunderstorms across the eastern half of the basin tonight through Thursday. You can also see some information on the wave right here. Some convective activity is near the southern end of the wave affecting the windward islands and eastern Venezuela. It is moving westward about 15 knots. So here we are right now live look. You can see all this thunderstorms from this trough coming in and putting a lot of storms towards Puerto Rico. It's also going to spread to the British Virgin Islands and portions of the Leeward Islands. But all this convection that you see going over Venezuela, this is all going to group up over here by the Windward Islands 
in just a little bit of time and it is going to move to the west then get pulled up as this trough leaves then get pushed back down as this high pressure expands so it is going to be a wobble with this system now you can see this on the latest cyclonic vorticity according to the euro that as you keep on going you see that that trough that they have coming down eventually will head to the north and that will allow for this wave more conducive development where it's out the way and it can start forming and you see right when it starts going right around venezuela it starts rolling around right where the outlook is for and this is literally within the next four to five days that is going to start grouping up then the euro is showing that it will head a little bit northern then you get that high pressure building up and it starts going to the west and steering it in that direction but it will head a little northern after that trough pulls up and it will go a little bit further towards jamaica so we do need to keep a close eye on this this is still six to seven days away still too far to be sure the first three days is probably the only thing that we can see is pretty accurate so the latest update from national hurricane center you can see how this one just dissipated up here in the north that just affected possibly bermuda then this other one is still going to be in the atlantic still could gradually develop into something very weak as it goes to unfavorable environment and to the weekend and just die off but we still have this right here an area of low pressure could form over the eastern caribbean sea by early this weekend environmental conditions are forecast to be conducive for gradual development as the low moves generally westward or west northwestward into the central caribbean by the end of this weekend and global tropics just updated as well and they're saying still by november 2nd to november 8th that there is going to be some kind of development right here in the caribbean so when you look with national hurricane center in 24 hours this tropical wave is going to be moving to the west whether it's north side or south side all the convection right now is on the south side as you go to 48 hours it's going to go a little bit further to the north because this trough is moving up to the north and in 72 hours you might get a surface low out of that still no effects to anybody we still need to keep a close watch in case it affects bermuda but this is where this wave is going to start making that west southwest push because we're going to have a high pressure building in this also is when we get in that storm right here over texas for friday going into saturday bringing the next round of severe weather i did a video on that yesterday so if you didn't see that update go watch that yesterday today is about the tropics plus all the temperatures the sea surface temperatures all this orange is at least 80 degrees a lot higher as well but it got to have at least 80 to maintain a tropical system so the temperatures are definitely there in fact the latest shot that we have shows that after it passes somewhat warm temperatures that it is going to even warmer temperatures that's why a couple of these models are showing that it will intensify because it is going into very much warmer waters plus the deep ocean heat content is still there and it will help this storm strengthen up so the latest information according to gfs potential velocity anomaly whether we're going to have lift whether we're going to have a favorable environment or not and they are showing exactly from november early november all the way to the 10th but really strengthening up anywhere from the 6th through 9th a big pocket of very favorable environment where the winds way up in the atmosphere are not going to be very volatile and it'll let these storms grow and breathe with less shear now the euro sees this as well but it sees it as a five-day average from november 4th through november 9th the euro does see that as well but what the euro sees is that there is a lot of lift and you can see our area we have 60 w that is the leeward and windward islands all the way to zero is the coast of africa our mdr main development region that we do have a lot of lift right here by the eastern caribbean and we have a lot of lift over here by the western caribbean in the gulf not the whole area and you can see this here with the euro this is the control member this is a more than likely outcome just like an ensemble that you will have a lot of lift in this area to create these storms start strengthening up but then it's a little bit weaker right here and then it strengthens up later as well and the latest run from the euro does show that this could go around a high pressure and get into our gulf later on 
So latest possibilities, according to the year, I'll see what's going on with the ensembles, is that by the time you get to October 31st, this is literally within five days, that your surface flow would more likely be right over here by Columbia, that it wouldn't be that far to the north. But right after five days, it starts headed a little bit north, but then it goes back to the west, southwest with possible locations and if you keep going you can see it even goes straight for belize pretty much is right in that southwest pocket just getting flowed in that direction then after that maybe get into our gulf and become a problem so as you look with the latest run from the euro the zero z that come out a little bit ago that you can see you do get this high pressure expanding all the way out bringing all this precipitation to the west right there but it didn't come all the way yet so it's still headed to the north with that tropical wave then it starts expanding you get the high pressure going right over here over the bahamas and this will steer this in that direction now there's a difference with the euro the high pressure keeps going to the east and after it gets to the western caribbean it could start curving into our gulf and you can see the latest on ensembles according to the euro that everything within five days you will get a surface load right here and it didn't fully load up yet it's just it takes a while for these ensembles to load up but you can see how it favors moving a little bit further to the west and not impact in jamaica still could get some impacts from some rain bands but this could either curve towards the yucatan or go towards nicaragua and honduras when you look at the previous run it only goes up to 90 hours. You can see a previous run, it showed it going a little bit further to the north where that trough was going to leave a little sooner and it impact the direction of it. But the latest run shows that it will go a little more to the west and southwest. So that looks like that's more likely of the direction according to the euro. Now the GFS in five days says it will be further to the north and possibly stronger. And as you keep on going, you say it goes a little bit more to the west, northwest, then possibly go towards Nicaragua, Honduras, towards Central America, while we still have this high pressure over here stopping anything from going further to the west. And instead, it just comes back and just explodes in the Caribbean. It don't go any further than Nicaragua and Honduras. And the latest ensembles of the GFS shows that it will go a little bit further to the north, could affect Dominican Republic, or it could stay down here just like the Euro scene. And that's where it's favoring the strongest, is that it'll stay southern, maybe get close towards Jamaica, but still go west to the southwest across the Caribbean. The more than likely outcome is down here. Why you see that northern one go right over Jamaica, maybe get stalled by a cold front, and be really dangerous especially with the rainfall so we do, do need to stay updated on this but i'm saying the best thing we can do is stay the first three to five days on this system because with this trough and this high pressure it's really going to make this thing wobble so here's the difference between the euro and the gfs gfs agrees all these storms going up to the caribbean also the system coming to the windward islands bringing a lot of rainfall possibly for you guys but as it heads to the west, you see it goes a little bit on that northern trip because the trough goes north. But then we get that high pressure expanding out and building up, steering it to the west. This is the difference. Instead of going east with the high pressure, the GFS takes the high pressure to the west and keeps that suppressed down towards Nicaragua and Honduras, Central America. It all makes a difference on what this high pressure is going to do, whether it's going to because all of them show is going to be right over it right here for Jamaica. So that should keep it revolving west, maybe get close. But then some show it will go east to where it goes a little bit on a curve on Western Caribbean. Some shows it goes west where it keeps pulling that to the west and not going north at all. Now the Canadian, just to bring in a third party for comparison, it is bringing it also to where it could be going a little bit northern in the Caribbean. Not as far as the GFS shows. This is within the five days. But then the high pressure does expand out. It does push it to the west. Just like the euro is showing that it will go more of a westerly than a southwesterly. And this pushes it right by Nicaragua and Honduras. Right towards Belize and the Yucatan. Not curving up into the Gulf. 
but it could go later on and maybe the Bay of Campeche. But this is where it's bringing it to, and that would be a lot of impact. And the Canadian also shows a surface low within the next five days forming up, getting somewhat close to Jamaica as a strong tropical storm, and then going west and growing into a hurricane as it clips a little bit of Nicaragua, Honduras, and goes towards Belize, El Salvador, the Yucatan. It really could impact y'all if this were to show true. Also seen by the GFS, not the same pressure, but you see how GFS still forms up in the next five to six days, still wobbles, but still goes down by that high pressure and strengthens up towards Nicaragua, Honduras, maybe some of Panama, Costa Rica. We do need to pay attention to this wave and a second one could form up after that and go back over to Eastern Caribbean, Leeward Islands, British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and affect people again and maybe come back. It's just so much going on with all these cold fronts. There's a lot of lift in the area. There's a lot of thunderstorms coming through and there's a lot of wobbling going around. So I'll show you the first five days every time I update. That way we know exactly what the best potential is and give you a hint to the long range. And when you bring in the GOES satellite, just see what NASA satellite sees, it sees all this curving up over here by Columbia, a little bit further to the south and moving west. So far, not a lot of pressure sits there and spins for a bit, but it eventually does move west and start strengthening up. So we definitely need to watch this. So far it is making that western push towards Nicaragua and Honduras could affect Jamaica as well. And I'm still showing long range with the Euro that after we go into this pocket of favorable environment, that we are going to have some unfavorable environment for a bit, maybe something to watch next system, maybe the east coast, I did see something. But we're going back into favorable environment as we go towards the end of November, the beginning of December. And just to give you a quick update, I did find a long-term sponsor for the channel, guys. My Patriot Supply, I'll tell you more about it in the coming days. But it is delivery of home food to your area. So if you're having problems getting some food in your area, this will definitely save you money. You can get it by the day, the week, the month. I'll tell you more about it. But this is going to be our sponsor for our channel. Now, we'll keep you updated in the Caribbean on what's going on with this next tropical wave. Make sure you subscribe to Mr. Weatherman. He covers the Caribbean all the time, and he's very good at it. Number one thing he preaches is safety. So please check him out if you haven't checked him out already. U.S., there is a big storm coming. I will update you again for tomorrow on that. John 1, 1 through 13. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Amen. Thank you so much for your time today, everybody. I hope you have a very blessed day. I might do an update this afternoon on the tropics if we see a little further what's going on with this high pressure. That's very important. But above all things, all glory <laughs> does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh, Father of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your Father. And may he keep all of you safe. <laughs> hey!
Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a very great Wednesday, everybody.